What's up, guys? Um, welcome back to my, ooh, what is it, seventh NFL predictions video. I've got 25 more coming. Anyways, this is going to be the Vikings. I've already done all of the NFC South teams and the Bears and the Packers. And as you can see, you can see a Packers and Bears game. Um, I've deleted all those um, picks, but I already know what they're going to be. So, yeah. And I've also predicted all the Falcons picks. So, yeah. So starting things off, you've got Kirk Cousins. Um, he really, um, he underperformed, the, the, the whole team underperformed last year, but they kind of blamed it on Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins had a really good year last year, okay? Look at his stats, they were pretty good. Just the rest of his team needs to bring it up, and I think they'll do that. After one year of 8-7-1, and one, I think that they'll start to get things together, and they'll show that in their first game whenever they beat the Falcons. Heading over to the first divisional matchup already in week two. They are going to go up against the Packers, and they are going to win, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, already, they've won two games. They're 2-0. Oh. They go up against the Raiders, and they win that one, too. Why do the Raiders have such a tough schedule? Anyway, so the Vikings defeat the Raiders. All right, so now they're 3-0. Oh. And then in come the Bears. <sighs> You guys just can't beat the Bears. What, what's happening, guys? And then you go into the Giants, and of course, you guys are gonna beat the Giants. I right, think, so but the Bears. Be, but I had, but I had the Giants beat the Bears, and the Bears beat the Vikings, and so the Vikings lose to the Giants. But no. And also, why are you watching multiple videos? No, you can't. Vikings versus Eagles. The Eagles way overrated this year. The NFC East is gonna be terrible. Not terrible, but like 9-7. I think the Redskins, Eagles, and Giants... And I think the Redskins and the Eagles are going to be fighting for the division title. But it's going to be like a bunch of .500 teams. And then you're going to have like the Cowboys in third. And maybe, maybe the um, Giants could get third. I don't know. Vikings versus Lions. And the Vikings won that. I don't know why I have them at 6-1 and one right now. But I do. Ooh, and the Redskins. The Redskins could go 1-15, and, and they'd still win this game. You got their old quarterback that was like, you need to pay me so much money. And it's on Thursday. They're easily going to win this one. So I'm sorry, but 6-2 and two is where you stand. You need to go up against the Chiefs, and you guys just can't beat the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is going to do great. People are saying, oh, but guess what? The, um... The number one quarterback in fantasy has never performed great in his second... And the year after that, why well, that that, can, that curse can be broken? It was broken in 2004 and 2005 for some Vikings quarterback. Vikings versus Cowboys. Yeah, I'm predicting the Vikings. Six and three, and then they go straight to seven and three. Like I said, the Cowboys are going to be like a six and ten team this year, with Ezekiel Elliott, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott holding out like he is. And you go into the Broncos, and ooh, this will be a tough one. Broncos coming off a bye. I think the Broncos get this one with Joe Flacco. First game, I've really predicted them to win, but the Vikings are seven and four right now, going into their bye week. Then they come out and they have a month. I mean, the Broncos have a really great defense that can probably hold Kirk Cousins and their offense, and then Joe Flacco can just fall, throw the ball, and hopefully, I think it'll be a very, very, very close game. And yeah. And then they have a bye week to think about how they went from 6-1, and 7-4. and four. They're like, all right, guys, we have to get things together. We're going up against the Seahawks, who beat us last year. Monday night, coming off of a bye, they win. All right? So they get a pretty long bye week. They get eight days of bye. And so they usually teams get like six or something. I don't know. All right. Then you get the Lions and Vikings. And sorry, Lions fans, but the Vikings are going to beat you. So now... You're nine and four. How this happened, guys? And then you go up against the Chargers, one of the best teams in the league, and you guys lose. So now you're nine and five, okay? Okay, so I can go ahead and tell you that I had the Bears going twelve and four. So you guys are not gonna win your division. And then I do think you guys beat the Packers here. I mean, Philip Rivers is a really good quarterback. I don't know why I'm saying everything has to do with quarterbacks. I'm not. I'm saying the Chargers, twelve and four last year. Um, they're gonna do. They might do a little worse. I don't know. I haven't predicted them yet. And then they go up against the Bears, and the Bears beat them. And that's how it all ends. They go ten and six. So 
two, they go one and a half games better than they did last season. So, um, hopefully you guys, Vikings fans, don't hate on me. Ten and six is pretty good. Um, hopefully it's enough to get you into the playoffs. It'll definitely, it's definitely enough to get you at least third in your division. Seeing where I have the um, Lions right now, it's definitely enough because I only have them at one and six. Um, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete all those. And so, Lions fans, um, the Vi- Vikings fans, you guys get um, you guys can go, ha ha ha. You guys can kind of laugh because you know, the Lions fans can be like, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna go 15 and 0 in this guy's predictions. I cannot wait. But then I don't know why I had to do an accent like that. But then the Lions come in, they're like, oh wait, why are we so bad, huh? Okay, so the best the Lions can do is third in the division. So yeah, um. You take 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 again right now. I mean, she's saying predictions right there. Fourteen and two, ten and six, nine and seven, and six and ten for the Saints, Panthers, Falcons, and Buccaneers respectively. So I have to post this video now. It'll be my third and thirty minutes. Bye.